So there is a misconcept, two misconceptions. One is the higher your ketones are, the better it is for you and the faster you lose weight. And, th and there's a more basic misconception and that is that if you're in nutritional ketosis, you are necessarily losing weight. And that's patient, patiently false because if you look at um, cultures where people were either pretty much pure hunters or pure herders, and you know, we think of you know, the Inuit in the Arctic or the Maasai in uh, the Great Rift Valley in East Africa, these are cultures that lived for thousands of years with very little, if any, dietary carbohydrates. And they achieved, came, reached adulthood, they lived reason, long, lives long enough to procreate and, and carry on their, their, their uh, cult, race and cultures and you know, they didn't waste away, and they were in consistent nutritional ketosis. So it is possible to be a, you know, in nutritional ketosis and weight stable, where the calories from fat, mostly come from fat coming in, equal the calories burned. So I did a study in bike racers, lean guys who had almost no body fat to burn. We locked them up in a metabolic ward for four weeks, which is pretty expensive to do. I would have loved to have done months, but they, they would have gotten cabin fever in there, and B, uh, we would have gone broke. But in four weeks, eating uh, as many calories in as they burned, they stayed perfectly weight stable in terms of lean body mass and body fat content over the course of, of that four week period of time. And I don't like to point to myself, but uh, uh, 13 years ago, I decided to put my mouth where my mouth is and actually follow my own advice. Uh, and for 12 and a half years, I've been weight stable within roughly two kilos, plus or minus. Um, and my ketones typically vary anywhere from between 0 0.5, 0 0.7 at my lowest points and then 3.0 or more after endurance exercise. So I've been in continuous nutritional ketosis and I haven't wasted away because my dietary fat intake is such that I, uh, yeah, and protein in moderation that I, I maintain stable weight. So I don't think that the ketone level def either mandates uh, or assist weight loss, it's the insulin sensitivity that one gets by the metabolic healing association with getting away from that toxic level of, of carbohydrates that the body can't handle that then, then facilitates weight loss. But you know, people then find their new uh, metastable state associated with adequate fat intake. And we'll come back to the fact that in order to achieve that, after you've lost quite a bit of weight, you don't add back more carbs to stop your weight loss. You add back fat to, to maintain satiety, to achieve stable weight.